there and welcome to the show. My name is Tamara Lesanya and I am Jody Maman. It is always a delight to have you join us on the show. Today we'll be looking at a common issue among school children, bullying. On the A Day With segment, we will get good counsel on how to deal with it. Bullying is a systematic problem that affects all school children in Nigeria. Kids who bully use things like physical strength, access to embarrassing information, and popularity to harm and control others. Experts have explained bullying as unwanted aggressive behavior among school-aged children that involves real or perceived power imbalance. It can either be repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Both kids who are bullied and who bully others may have serious lasting problems. Have you been a victim of bullying recently? If so, how do teachers in your school handle bullying situations? There's something to learn. Have a listen. Hello friends, my name is Ivy Adesina. Bullying is when people maltreat you without you doing anything to them. My name is Ahmed Ahmed. I'm here to tell you my experience of bullying. So one day, my brother bullied me. He was bullying me. So every day when I come back home, he, he would be bullying me and bullying me. So I told when my mom came back, I told her and she, and she cautioned him and she told him never to bully me again. Hello, my name is Jare Eze. I'm here to tell you about my experience about bullying. I was bullying me in the bus by twisting my hand and I reported to Mr. Emmanuel. I know bullying can hurt someone, but I've never been bullied. Don't bully your classmates or friends, it could really hurt them. My name is Dr. Bashir Jamu. Watch our world every week to encourage children to announce their potential. Stay tuned. Welcome back. In order to be considered bully, the behavior must be aggressive, such as making threats, spreading rumors, attacking someone physically or verbally, and excluding someone from a group on purpose. While bullying can be aggressive and persistent, it can also be subtle enough that teachers are not aware of it. Since bullying can lead to psychological, emotional, and physical problems, it's essential for teachers to recognize signs of bullying and how to combat it. Hello friends, my name is Ariana Akongwale. I will take you on this piece on how to recognize signs of bullying and how to combat it. Types of bullying. The three types of bullying students can experience are direct bullying, indirect bullying, and cyberbullying. Within these categories lie verbal, physical, and social or relational bullying. Direct bullying. This is a combination of both verbal and physical bullying. Verbal bullying includes sp spoken comments or written information that is emotionally damaging to the targeted student. Verbal bullying includes teasing, name calling, inappropriate sexual comments, taunting, and threatening to cause harm. Physical bullying consists of physically harming a student or their possessions. An example of direct bullying is hitting a student while also calling them rude, rude names or using foul language. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking, and pinching, spitting, tripping, pushing, taking or breaking someone's things, making mean or rude hand gestures. Indirect bullying, this is mainly verbal and is experienced frequently in schools. An example of such behavior would be a student spreading false information about another student with the intent to cause humiliation. Cyberbullying. This is when students use email or social media platforms like Facebook to write damaging content. The rise of technology has taken bullying to the internet. 
A common form of cyberbullying is sharing a student's private photos or videos without their consent. This form of bullying often takes place off in school grounds, so it is more so it is more difficult for teachers to detect and address. Social bullying, sometimes referred to as relational bullying, involves hurting someone's reputation or relationships. Social bullying includes giving someone out on purpose, telling other children not to be friends with someone, spreading rumors about someone, embarrassing people in public, where and when bullying happens. Bullying can occur during or after school hours. What most reported bullying happens in school bullying, a significant percentage also happens in places like on the playground or in the bus. Causes of bullying. The causes of bullying are varied, meaning any student can become a target regardless of gender, race, religion, or social economic status. Understanding why students bully others can help teachers better combat it. Factors that can lead to bullying include differences in appearance, social status, and sexual orientation. So friends, do not bully one another. Bullying hurts. Recently, our school celebrated the one, the Festival of Lights. Let's go into some classrooms to mark the celebration. self-esteem while some others have very high self-confidence those who have high self-confidence tend to lack compassion and empathy and they can respond aggressively whenever they feel threatened let's go to the school administrator 
For having us. What was growing up like? Were you bullied as a child? Growing up was a lot of fun. Was I bullied maybe once or twice? But back in the day, there wasn't a lot of awareness about bullying. So yes, there was bullying. Yes, I was bullied a couple of times. And um, but then it wasn't we weren't as aware as you are now. Do you agree that in some cases students need for attention? Students who need attention uh, can bully other people, you know, to gain that attention. They can tend to want to show their insecurity, the fact that they're not happy about themselves on other people. The number one cause of bullying would be low self-esteem in children. Children, when they are not happy about themselves, they, they are not confident about themselves, or maybe they feel they don't have enough friends, yes, they can bully. The major effect of bullying is that it makes um, children sad, it makes children unhappy, and it can lead to um, very fatal outcomes in children. How can school administration keep their environment safe from bullying? One of the ways to prevent such occurrence in the environment would be that you provide opportunity for children to be able to speak out if they are being bullied you ensure that there are adults wherever children are to ensure that safeguarding takes place in which case children are kept safe from each other and from other adults and circumstances that can make them feel bullied or that can support bullying The therapy ideal for children who bully would be the opportunity for them to speak to other people, to speak to adults, because like I said earlier on, children who bully tend to be unhappy children. So when a child is unhappy and they are able to speak about it, you find out that the wave of unhappiness goes away and they don't need to take it out on other children. My advice would be that we are kind to each other. You know, my advice would be that we are kind to each other. We watch out for each other. That means that when somebody is being bullied, you don't look the other way. You stand with the person, you report you know, sometimes the person who is being bullied um, feels overwhelmed and perplexed. So you that you are watching, you can report, you can support them by standing with them against the bully um, because there's power in numbers. So if five of you are standing and the bully sees that you are standing with each other, the tendency to be bullied is less. Don't isolate yourself. Um, don't try not to be the only person in a place that would attract a bully to you to come and um, want to bully you. Make sure that you don't stay alone in a place. And if you ever feel bullied, find an adult to speak to. 
um, within the school is a no bullying zone, as you know. So uh, you can always report to me or to any other adult within the school. And if it's at home or anywhere else, find an adult in authority to speak to, to report to. You know, but essentially let's be kind to each other. When you find someone who is weak in their weak moments, make sure you support them, say kind words to them, make them feel confident um, about themselves. Let's talk about that because you know, some parents encourage bullying, even at home. Yes. By the way, to so talk about parents that, well, you know that yes. some parents actually encourage bullying by what they do. Sometimes um, you find parents encouraging directly or indirectly encouraging bullying um, if someone talks to you he hits them back or if someone mistakenly and you find children because they are children they can misrepresent that someone mistakenly hits you maybe in a contact spot and then you grow up to them aggressively and you hit them back because your parents have told you that whoever hits you you must hit back parents have to desist from encouraging children to hit back you you have to teach them to report you know teach them to um ensure that they they are confident to answer you know and to stand up for themselves but not to encourage violence or encourage um them to fight you know in order to 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 be confident about themselves you know because children take the words of their parents verbatim you know whether um, the parents mean it that way or not. They just children just run with with the vision, so to speak. So parents have to encourage, um, especially in these anti-bullying sessions. You you know you have to ensure that your child aligns with your family values, and that they don't go out there to bully other children or to make other children happy. <music>I love reading. I love reading. I read a lot. That's why I tell you um, to go to the library as often as you can. My favorite subject when I was your age was, um, I think English it was. I loved writing. I loved reading about the stories from other people across the world. So yes, um, my favorite subject was, was um, English language. Still is. Many thanks for your insight on this topic. We have learned a lot. Finally, what would you want to be remembered for? Thank you, Stephanie. I want to be remembered as an advocate for children to make sure that children are safe wherever they are and that adults are aware of what can make a child unhappy because unhappy childhood makes a child grow up into an unhappy adult. I would absolutely invite you all uh, to tune in uh, as often as you possibly can uh, to uh, Our World. Uh, it really is um, a wonderful program that uh, showcases uh, the, 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 the young of our country and uh, you can get a sense of what uh, the future holds uh, for this country. So Our World uh, is a program. Please tune in as often as you can every week. Bullying does not only impact the students, it impacts their family and classmates. Wow, that was enlightening. We hope you learn as much as we did. Next is Stay with us. Join us. Friends, my name is Sadon Guaza. I you wondering why I got this. Well, I tripped and it's healing nicely. 
Today, Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, is our focus on our state in focus. Ibadan, being one of the oldest cities in Nigeria, has this ancient appeal that just draws you in and invites you to discover its full beauties. Let's embark on a trip to find out some of the places that are as old as the city itself. Ibadan is the capital and most popular city of Oyo State in Nigeria. It is the third largest city by population in Nigeria after Lagos and Kano, with a total population of 2,649,000 as of 2021, and over 3 million people within its metropolitan area. It is one of the country's largest cities by geographical area. At the time of Nigeria's independence in 1960, Ibadan was the largest and most populous city in the country and the second most populous in Africa behind Cairo. Ibadan is ranked to one of the fastest growing cities in sub-Saharan Africa according to the UN Human Settlement Program in 2022. Oluma Rock, which is among Ibadan landmarks, is a symbol of how the city subsists even after a long period of time. The grand formation of this rock, which dominates the horizon for miles, is a place where visitors have the chance to make the climb both figuratively and literally. As you go up to the mountain, each step you take will be offset by the remarkable views of the surrounding countryside, which is far from distracting but delivers a sense of tranquility and realism that cannot be achieved anywhere else. Ibadan's beauty is not just limited to nature, but a story of culture and tradition, whether at the Mapo Hall and Coco House landmarks or the busy markets of Bodija and Oji. Every point in the city stores a story yet to be discovered. A trip to Ibadan is definitely incomplete without relishing its food delicacies. Every dish is a manifestation of the city's cultural endowment, from the fiery flavors of suya and akara to the comforting warmth of amala and ewedu soup. The food of Ibadan feeds and satisfies the soul and the palate. Finally, Ibadan invites travelers to experience its endless charm that is outside modern life chaos, offering them a place for peace. From historical landmarks to hidden nooks, every city block is a lost treasure waiting to be revealed. I am Seidon Gwaza. Our world continues shortly after the break. It's that time of the show where we get to reward you for being here. Question of the week. Welcome to the quiz segment of our show. My name is Jason Mama. Last week we asked Give to homonyms. Let's find out what homonyms are. Homonyms are words that sound the same but are spelled and used differently. The winner of last week's quiz is Congratulations, the producer will get in touch with you. This week, identify the picture on TV. As always, text your answer, stating your name, age and location to 0803-300-1548. Good luck. Our world continues shortly after the break. And my name is Jason Mama. Hello, I am Professor Chimwe Veronica Munobi, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Library. 
and they are watching the program award award is the foremost program that you must watch it is a program you cannot afford not to watch because it will tell you what we are for the youth family and what will be for tomorrow our world is aired on this channel every 5 p.m every wednesday Tamara Lasagna, join us for another interesting episode on our world from both of us. Bye bye!